the 2005 first competition, this year's game is known as Triple Play. The game is played on a 27 by 54 foot rectangular field. Large triangular goals are placed around the field in three rows of three. Two alliances, each made up of three teams, occupy the ends of the field. Human players stand at the corners of one side of the field, ready to move game pieces out and hand them to the robots. The game is played with tetrahedral shaped objects known as tetras. Points are scored by placing tetras on top of goals and making rows across the goals. At the beginning of the game, special vision tetras are placed out on the field. As the game starts, robots can knock tetras away from the corner goals to score a few points. More advanced robots will use onboard vision systems to recognize the vision tetras, move out, pick them up, grab them, and place them on goals for extra bonus points. At the end of the 15 second autonomous period, bonus tetras are awarded and human players step forward to take control. Robots will drive up to automated loading stations where they can grab tetras and enter them into play. Alternatively, robots can drive up to the manual loading stations, which will allow a human player to step off a pressure pad sensor disabling the robot and then load it up with the tetra. Once the human player returns to the pressure pad sensor, the robot is re-enabled and they can deliver their tetras. Human players must remember that robots are disabled whenever they leave the pressure pad. Once a robot grabs a tetra from the loading station, he can leave the loading zone and place it immediately on a goal. Tetras may be placed on any goal anywhere on the field. While a robot is attempting to place a tetra, opposing robots may play defense, block their efforts, and even keep them away from certain areas of the field. Here the blue alliance spots an opportunity to make the road. They run to the far end of the field to place a tetra on a goal and then head back for home. The red alliance immediately counters by placing a tetra on the center goal, eliminating the blue row. Teams will have to pay attention to the center of gravity of their robot as they lift heavy objects and drive rapidly around the field. As the end of their match approaches, robots will head for their end zone. Teams will get bonus points for getting all three of their robots behind the end zone line. Teams are awarded three points for each tetra placed on top of a goal. They receive one point for each tetra on the floor in the base of a goal. Each row of tetras placed on top of goals receives a 10 point bonus, and having all three robots behind the end zone line receives a 10 point bonus. In this case, red wins 64 to 60. Good luck and we'll see you at the competition.